Today we are discussing the sum of the unit fractions. If you remember, the sum is the total amount when you add parts together. And the unit fraction is the value of one piece of the whole where the numerator is always one. So let's take a look at this proper fraction. In order to find our unit fraction, we need to find how many pieces are in the whole. So remember, our unit fraction always has a numerator of 1, but in order to find our denominator, we need to count how many pieces are in the whole. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our unit fraction is 1 6. So we are finding the sum of the unit fractions to identify the shaded portion of this fraction. So what we're going to do is we are going to label each shaded piece with our unit fraction of 1 sixth. Even the non-shaded pieces in fractions have a value of 1 sixth, but today we want to identify just the fraction that is shaded. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take all of our unit fractions that we have labeled and we are going to add them together. So we have 1 sixth plus 1 sixth. I'm going to check off as I count them. I'm going to add one more sixth to it. Plus one more sixth. And a last one sixth. And when we add all of these pieces together, it's going to give us the answer to how much is shaded in. Remember when we add fractions with like denominators, our denominator always remains the same because we are staying with sixths. So we can add our numerators together. We can do 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, or we can count how many pieces are shaded in. So we have 1 sixth, 2 sixths, 3 sixths, 4 sixths, five sixths. So our fraction for this area model is five sixths are shaded in. Let's take a look at a fraction that is larger than one. We always want to start by identifying our unit fraction. And remember our unit fraction has a one as our numerator, but to find the denominator, we find how many pieces are in the whole. So I see that there are multiple holes here, so I'm going to focus on the first one. And I notice there are one, two pieces in the whole. So our unit fraction is one half. Just like last time, we are going to label in every shaded piece with our one half label. And in order to find how much is shaded in, we're going to add those unit fractions together. So we have 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 last half. Remember, we can keep the denominator, we must keep the denominator, and add our numerator together to count how many pieces are shaded in. So we have 1 half, 2 halves, 3 halves, 4 halves, 5 halves. And that's going to be our improper fraction. In my class, we like to take a little bit of a shortcut and we like to label how much is shaded in with each hole. So here there are two halves shaded in on our first one, plus two more halves shaded in on our second one, and only one half shaded in on my last hole. And that is going to also give us our improper fraction of two halves plus two halves plus one half equals five halves. But if I have an improper fraction, that means I can also have a mixed number. So we can take another shortcut by seeing that this whole circle is shaded in. Our next hole is entirely shaded in as well. But our last circle only has one half shaded in. So we can add those together to help us. We have one hole plus one hole equals two holes. 
and a proper fraction of one half. So we can add the sum of our unit fractions together to also equal two and one half. You can find the sum of unit fractions with area model, set models, and even the number line. But here we did it once with a proper fraction and once with an improper fraction and mixed number. Remember, your unit fraction must always have a numerator of one. It always represents one piece. And if we are finding the sum, we are adding those pieces together.